Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do something different um, and to make a confession. Um, I also need to do a little cash stuffing. I was going to wait to do savings challenges until Sunday because my new savings challenge day is going to be called Sa Savings Challenge Sunday. Um, so in that, that means that I'm just doing this video a little early. Um, I'm still going to be doing a video on Sunday, but this is just what I have to work with right now. Um, Sunday is a really good day for me to do savings challenges because that is the day that's the end of every week. Um, we already know if we have money to work with or if we don't have money to work with. Um, as you can tell, I did my nails. These are just janky ghetto um, glue on nails. I got the nails, the glue, and a thing of nail polish for uh, $13.98 um, at Sally Beauty Supply and Dollar Tree is where I went. I wanted to get a kit that I could use over the next um, few weeks to a month to change out nails, um, to practice, to be able to do something for a little self-care. Um, I can probably get about 10 sets of nails out of that kit that I got. Um, they're gel, um, like the, the nails are not gel, they're the um, acrylic, so I can just paint regular nail polish over and it'll stay. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. However, um, it's been a learning curve for me. I am a notorious nail biter. I do not paint my nails. I usually don't have anything to paint due to the habit. I have been biting my nails since I was four or five and I'm 34 years old, so it's not gonna end anytime soon. Um, but this is a step in the right direction. When I did my nails, went to a professional, had them put on, um, got fills. I did not buy my nails for quite a few years. So let's get into the video. We have our savings challenge um, notebook here, and then we have some cash, and then we also have all these coins. I have been cleaning out everything, looking for coins in my car, whatever I could do to restart um, some good balance in my life. Um, so we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, and $38 um, in cash. And then the rest we have in coins. I'm going to put the money here if I can get it to work. <laughs> I've been very anxious lately. I've been very up and down emotionally lately ever since I had to pull money. Um, it kind of threw me for a tailspin, especially since the economy has been what it has been. Um, it's kind of scary. You know, I became a working person in 2007 um, after graduating high school, becoming an adult. Um, I had jobs previous to that, but they weren't full time. Um, but at the, that point, I was a full time worker. Then 2008 hit. Um, and it really threw me for a loop. I thought that I had, you know, time to, you know, take a break from whatever I wanted to do with my future work a year, um, so on and so forth, and found myself really kind of in a, in a big mess um, as a very young adult. Um, 18, 19, 20 was really hard for me to make money. Um, as you can tell here, though, we'll get into it just we're going to be cut and dry with it. You can see that there's something missing there, right? I usually have it there every single video, but I don't. I had to pull money for my jar challenge, all of it specifically. Um, I had a, another family emergency after my financial emergency. Um, which makes me really sad, but at the same time, I'm glad I had the money. That's what it's there for. Money can be replaced. Some situations can't be remedied without money. We'll be fair. So we have our previous challenge here. The sad part is, is we only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares to color. $30 away from $300 to, uh, 
have in that jar, but it is what it is. We're going to be restarting some things. I'm going to be limiting how much I do on challenges to bulk up the challenges I have before adding in a bunch more. Um, we are going to continue this challenge here. This is a $50 or 50 envelope. I don't know where I got dollar 50 envelope um, challenge. These are all very low numbers between two and six. Um, I'm going to be stuffing this. I don't know what it's going to go to, but it's going to go to something. I don't know. Um, and then because we didn't get to finish this one, we're going to call that good. Um, this is my, how I break, how I was breaking down how to get to 30 K, which is my ultimate goal to get to 30 K. So I can start looking into the home buying process. Um, I do not qualify for a loan, um, in my area for a regular stick built home. If you do not know, and you haven't been following my journey, I plan on either buying a manufactured home outright in a park and paying park rent, which is um, going to save me anywhere between eight to nine hundred dollars a month in housing costs, um, as well as um, ownership. Um, if I have to get a loan, it's going to be a little less on the savings, but it's going to be something. So for the last few days, I have been making challenges. Um, not only for my Etsy, but for myself. I needed a new jar challenge. I needed a new start. Um, so this whole page here, well, actually, before we get into that, I have tabs here for all of the challenges that I'm going to be doing in the next few months, month, whatever. We have the house jar savings challenge, um, which I have multiple sheets of. We're going to be using our last jar. Um, a subscriber provided me two jars for free in the mail as happy mail. So this is our last non-breakable jar. Um, and then I am going to be working on another thing that is going to be required for me to move forward with a loan if that's what I want to do, if that's what my husband and I decide to do. And that's going to be the loan jar. Um, that doesn't mean that they're the same thing. Okay, so house savings is house savings. The loan jar is for my car loan. My car loan is 90% of my debt to income ratio. If you do not know what a debt to income ratio, it is the balance of how um, much debt you have um, per income statement. So that means that they're going to divide your um, debt to how much you make um, over a two-year span for a loan. Um, I need to pay my car down as much as possible. If I could get it to zero before that loan process, that would be even better because that's money that could go towards my loan. Um, if you have a high debt to income, you will have to subtract that from what they will qualify for a loan. Um, so if I owe 20,000 on my car, which is the current balance, um, and I want to get $100,000, but I only make a certain amount of money, they're going to put that into a monthly um, balance. So whatever my car loan is will come in, into play, and they will take that away, um, which is pretty high for me right now for my income. So we have just a bunch of coin and um, mostly coin challenge for this. So um, we will be stuffing dollars into this, but um, right now I'm just doing very, very low increments, $102, 10304 um, and $108. Once these are complete, I will either complete one page, pull the money out, put it towards my loan, or I'm going to keep going until I feel like it's time to pull the money and put it towards the loan. Um, and I'll just add it to a payment. As far as this challenge goes, I tried to keep it within a good range of um, 
denominations because I do well with stuffing smaller denominations because of my income. This is going to either be stuffed daily, weekly, monthly, however I can, as much as I can. So we have $102, which is the same page as the, um, the car loan one, where it's, mo it's all change on this particular page. Then it moves up from 95 cents all the way down to 100 and, or, breathe, 95 cents all the way to $1.80, and then $1.85 all the way to $2.75 on this page, and then so on and so forth. So $2.80 to, two, to $3.60, and these numbers are getting higher and higher. Um, you know, I didn't want to do anything over nine, ten dollars because I felt like that was going to be too much to uh, put on my plate. Um, my husband said the same thing. He's like, "We need to have reasonable numbers if we're going to be doing this and doing this challenge, challenge big time." Um, you know, and and really, you know, just really set ourselves up for success. So it goes on up. It continues and I'm gonna eventually put this in my shop um, I will probably put this in my shop for I think like four or five bucks because there are so many sh sheets of this um, and you can really really gain a lot of you know money from doing all of these challenges so if I completed all of these all the way up to eight dollars and 25 cents which is down here at the bottom um, it would be 7,482.20. That's a lot of money. I think I could do with 7,482.20 in a jar. That would make me really, really happy. So these are the two main challenges that we're always going to be working on regardless. Um, by Christmas time, I would like to be able to at least have my jar for um, the uh, car loan taken out one time. Um, even if it means that a gift for myself and my husband for Christmas is to pull that money out and put a large chunk on that loan, that would be great. And then other challenges, the only other challenge that we're gonna be doing, um, so we're gonna be doing the jar challenges, two jar challenges. We're going to be doing the 50 envelope low income challenge. And then we're going to be doing these scratch offs, which I haven't taken the money out of these um, challenges or the box. Um, I am going to be remaking an envelope to put the um, challenge, all the scratch off challenges in. Something bigger maybe that I can put in here um, or, you know, what have you or just have it just plain and unpunched. Um, I'm not going to be using any um, binders for challenges for a while because I feel like I need it to be big and out there and motivating for me to do, um, especially the jar challenges. So um, we are going to continue with the, the scratch off challenges because I find that to be fun. Eventually I will work in shut the box, um, some mini challenges, holiday challenges will be coming. I cannot believe it, you guys. It's June. We are halfway through a year and I'm at zero again. That makes me irritated. Not, not in anybody else particularly or, you know, the situation. It just makes me irritated that things are what they are with the economy. So we're going to be moving our jars back up front um, during recording, I'm going to be leaving this one that has the screw top available for um, access for the uh, car. And I'm not going to be opening this, you guys, unless there are certain circumstances. My kids have an emergency. My husband has an emergency. I have an emergency. That means medical um, that means like a true, true emergency. Um, 
I'm going to be homeless, um, whatever that situation, you know, may be as a major emergency, um, that would be the only time I'm going to be pulling that money. So we are not going to be touching it anymore. It's not going to happen. I talked to my husband. Um, he agreed. He's like, that money just needs to not even be thought about, not even looked at. It doesn't exist. It is what it is. So our jars are back here. Let's go ahead and stuff some money. We're only going to be stuffing this challenge and the, um, the coin jar challenges today. I'm not doing any scratch offs because I feel like it, I need to make that envelope first. So let's see if I can, I don't think I can zoom out anymore. Nope, I can't. All right, that's okay. So let's start with this. And I know you guys, my nails are not perfect. <laughs> my husband helped me. It was very sweet of him. He is the sweetest man. I love him dearly. I'm actually gonna keep these low, lower numbers. I can't even talk. So let's go ahead and stuff six into this envelope. And it's really sad because I have friends that are really, really low income, like lower than me. And they're like, dude, I'm struggling so hard just to feed myself and my kids right now. And I think to myself, you know, Amanda, why are you so sad? You, you should be happy you had that money. Be thankful be aggressive in rebuilding. You know, you have multiple streams of income. Some people don't know how to side hustle. I'm going to be fair. Um, I come from side hustlers. My dad has been side hustling all of my life. My grandparents were side hustlers. Um, they had big businesses. They had a grocery store in the 60s and the 70s. They had, um, rentals, they had real estate um, investments, commercial properties. Um, they owned the grocery store that um, was on a lot that they also owned as well as a little strip mall next to it um, with like five, four, I think five or six little cubby shops that you can go into. Um, you know, and, and that was a different time. We will agree with that. That was a different time, but I come from people who know how to hustle. You know, they're just like, Hey, we're going to do this, you know? And, and my grandma is, you know, a wonderful woman and she comes from a different time. So she doesn't understand why things are so hard now. Um, I think that she understands, but it's not like to the fullest. So we're done stuffing this for now. I'm excited to see that get fuller. Look at that. It's getting fuller. Um, but, you know, I mean, we come from hustlers. We come from people who, you know, really wanted to make it, you know, who really struggled to make it at times. So I'm going to, I think this is the house savings one. Yes. Yes, that's the one. Let's go ahead and dump this change out. I feel like Jamie, girl, I'm cha I'm the change lady too now. I'm excited to join the club. And if you want to hate on me for all the change, you can hate. I'll prove you wrong. All of it adds up. It all adds up. All right, so we're going to start with our colors here. I know this thing is like a mess. But that's okay. And I'm not going to color them fully in. I'm actually just going to go like this for now. And I'll leave it out. So 10 cents for that one. So we have 10 cents here. And boy is money dirty. Dirty, dirty money. And then we're going to do another 10 cents. And then let's go ahead and go down to 15. So one, so 10, 11, 12, 13, ooh, 14, 15 cents. 
And I might not stuff all this today. So 15 cents there. And then let's go ahead and do 25, 25, 25, 25 we'll do 75 and we'll color in these here so 25 25 and 25 okay and then let's go down the line here let's go to 30 so 30 cents is now in here. Thirty cents. Let's go ahead and do another thirty cents. Let's do green. Thirty cents. And then we're gonna do 20 cents. 20 cents. And if this is what I have to do to save money, folks, I do not care. I recycle bottles and cans to get savings challenge money. If you've watched my channel before, another 20 cents, then you know that that's the case. I don't care. I am not ashamed to stuff anything small. I don't really care what other people's opinions are on that. We're just gonna do what we can with what we've got because it's all we have to work with, right? I mean, you can't make money grow on trees, folks. Um, let's go ahead and do another 30 cents. And do mind you, you guys, I'm going to keep these out. This gets bigger. Like I said before, we're going to be going up the chain. It's going to get bigger. We're going to go all the way to $8.25. We're going to try to get to that 7 k um, So there's that challenge. And then we are going to flip to the car loan which is gonna be the next one here. So that's the house. This is the car loan, because it's got the screw top. We're going to take the top off, and I'll put that more inside here. And we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna just take 25 cents. We'll start with quarters, 25. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're just going to put the twelve quarters in here, like so. And then I know I'm going to be coloring in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're gonna go all the way to the end and I will color that whole row in off camera and then we can go further with it. Let's do um, each row going this way is 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna put that in there. So then we'll also do the same thing here. We'll do that. And then we're going to go ahead and do this one here. And then down the line, when we get to a point, I will take this cash and I will get my calculator out, which you'll see in just a second, and we will just add it all up, color in the 
the little squares and put this money into um, the challenges. So I feel like we did pretty well for the car for the moment and I will be back. I'm going to flip to the house savings jar. We're going to fast forward a little bit and um, I will put that money into the jar after I've done some calculating. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So that was a lot more coloring than I thought. I was going to try to like speed up a clip, but it didn't happen. I had to do math. Um, we have 25 cents left over of this $15 for the house savings jar. I'm going to go ahead and plop this $15 in like so. And then we are going to add um, enough to make 40 cents. So 25, 30, and then 40 cents, okay? So we're gonna be coloring that in. And this will give me some coloring to do while I sit in front of the TV at the end of a long day. We have a bunch of coins left over, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna move these colored pencils yet again. We're going to flip one more time to, um, Actually, you know what? I was going to flip, but let's go ahead and instead of flipping to the car loan challenge, let's try to find a number five. Number five. There we go. So we have a five here. Let's go ahead and stick this five into this challenge. And then I will go ahead and either stuff this change off uh, or off camera <laughs> or I'm going to keep it for next time. And I, I might just stuff the pennies, you guys, into the, um, the loan challenge here. Um, and then we can, you know, utilize the silvers for the house savings jar. Um, I hope that that makes sense to you guys that I'm going to be doing two different jars. Um, I'm going to be doing the house savings and my car loan. Um, house savings will not be touched again unless there's an absolute emergency. And I know I said that before, um, but we truly, really, truly are on the right track this time and we are determined. Um, but as you can tell, this, this coin sheet here is going to go pretty fast. I was actually surprised to see how much change was in my car. Um, watching Jamie from Jamie's Realistic Life say that she went through her car, um, her rental car to pick out all the change. I was like, girl, I didn't even think about that. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, I do have some happy mail that I did send out to a few folks. Um, April from April's Budgets. Um, if you can let me know, girl, if you got your package, I don't know if it came or not, uh, let me know. Um, I also have some happy mail I'm sending to a few of you, um, including Yvonne from Canada, um, because I feel like I need to give back in this community as much as you've given me. I appreciate anyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, continued to come back to my channel, watch my journey. The journey hasn't ended. We're just starting over. Um, and it makes me anxious, but that's okay. If I'm not anxious and worried about it, then uh, I wouldn't even con consider this a journey. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. Do what you can with what you've got because it's all you have to work with. Bye.